Hi and welcome back to the Dr O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel where today we're going to be looking at preauricular sinuses. The video is going to cover two concepts. First of all, what is a preauricular sinus illustrated by a real life example? And secondly, we're going to be looking at the complications that can arise from preauricular sinuses. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like it and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or queries, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. So a preauricular sinus is a congenital malformation and it's characterized by a nodule or dent or dimple adjacent to the outer ear. And here you can see one circled in green. So this congenital malformation results from developmental defects of the first and second pharyngeal arches. Reported frequency varies anywhere from 0.9% in countries like the UK up to 10% in places in Asia and Africa. Usually the preauricular sinuses are unilateral, meaning you find them on one side of the ear only, but it is possible to get them bilaterally. Now it's important to know about preauricular sinuses because they can become infected, and we'll talk about this on the next slide. So you need to be aware of the potential complications of a preauricular sinus and one of the most important ones is the formation of a cyst and in this photograph highlighted in red you can see where a cyst has formed from a previously removed sinus which I'm highlighting in yellow here. Now the treatment of this is something called incision and drainage otherwise known as I and D. Now this is where under sterile conditions an incision will be made around the cyst and the pus will be drained. Now for long-term management of a preauricular sinus you should consider surgical removal. And this is typically done by an ENT surgeon and this is where the sinus and this, the tract of the sinus will be removed. However there is risk of recurrence as you can see in this photo where some of the tract may, may remain and the cyst may form. You should also make sure that you give these patients antibiotics and this will depend on local guidelines as to which particular antibiotics you will give. Thanks for checking out the video and please remember to subscribe to the channel.